Only hours after you arrived back from destroying the nest of spiders, you received a message from your commanding officer. Contact has been lost with the Beacon Tower of Torvarden. It is presumed to have been overrun. You are commanded to round up what men you can and proceed with all swiftness to Torvarden to ascertain the truth. If the tower has fallen, learn what enemy forces now occupy it and harass or eliminate them as opportunity presents. As you make your way towards Torvarden, the gentle rolling hills slowly give way to rocky plains and finally into the boulder-filled maze known locally as the Scree. It is a barren, unnerving place, a perfect site for an ambush as the large rocks cut lines of sight down to just a few yards in most places. Proceeding cautiously, you eventually hear the Enthel River, which you must cross to reach Torvarden. As you approach, however, you hear other noises as well, nearly drowned out by the river. Voices of some inhuman type, a language filled with whines and barks. Climbing to the top of a large boulder, you get a clear view down to the river. There, standing astride the old stone bridge is a pack of gnolls. Judging by the large cooking pot they have set up over the fire, these gnolls are camped here likely to guard the bridge. The only other place to cross the Enthel River is a ford, in sight of the bridge. Otherwise, it will take at least half a day to reach another crossing. There's nothing for it. The gnolls will have to be eliminated, as quickly and quietly as possible. Hey guys, Ron Purvis, Kentucky Fried Gamers here. This is Scenario one of mission two mission two is the beacon tower scenario one is the bridge guards uh, your rangers are trying to get across the bridge uh, to the tower tor varden uh, which tor varden will be my next uh, terrain build i'm gonna try and build up the uh, the lower level and then the upper level of tor varden uh, to play on uh, well so that'll be our next terrain build um we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm um, going to introduce you to my team again. Uh, this is my Ranger Balthazar, my Barbarian Rogar, my Man at Arms, uh, is Arnos, my Owl Raptor, uh, Nicodemus, Drolon, my Rogue, and Crassusa, uh, my Archer. So, all right. Um, in this scenario, you get to make a roll right off the bat. A, you need a navigation roll, and you can move one of your, uh, three of your figures six inches in any direction. So we're going to make that 16. Uh, that means I get to move three of my heroes six inches. We're going to pick, we want to get the fighters up there, so we're going to move, we're going to pick our we're going to pick these guys, so we're going to move these guys here. Move him up behind that bush. So, all right, there's our three that we got to move up. Um, there was also, at the beginning of every turn, we make a stealth roll. You pick one character to make a stealth roll. Uh, target number eight, if it's successful, um, you get to move. Uh, a null figure, a null figure, six inches in any direction. So they will not go into the river though. Uh, so, alrighty, let's see. This is turn one. So at the start of the turn, I'm going to make a stealth roll, target number eight. I'm going to have Drolon make it because he is plus five. So all I need is a three or better. I'm good. So I'm going to pick, let's see, which one do we want to move? Let's move one of these, let's move these guys back. Do we want to move them back? Let's move one of the archers. Let's move them all. Let's move that archer that way, six inches. Okay. I know there's no range, but there's more cover that way. Um, all right, 
So there's that. And uh, every other turn, on the odd number of turns, you flip a card. So uh, this is the event card is a six, which says place a large vulture on the table anywhere along the hero's starting table edge. During the creature phase, each turn this vulture will move six inches directly across the table. If it it will not force combat or otherwise willingly deviate from this course. Only heroes that can fly can move into combat with the vulture. Uh, good thing I have a raptor. Uh, if the vulture takes damage within line of sight of the knolls, it raises the alarm. Make a note if the vulture manages to exit the other side of the table before the end of the scenario. Alright, something bad must happen if he makes it off the table. So, I'm trying not to read ahead of the scenarios just one at a time. So that, you know, I don't know, you know, because it tells, I guess, at the beginning of the next one, uh, Tor Varden, uh, what's going to happen. Which is a good thing I have a flying one. Okay, so, here is the representative for the vulture. Place him where? Anywhere along my starting edge. So, we're just going to, I guess, just pick the middle. So there's the vulture. All right. So that's that card. That's that event. All right. So now, ranger phase. He is going to group activate with these two so that I can move them up behind that rock. And then, okay. Oh, I moved one. Let's see. All right, so we're good, yes. All right, so we'll start. These guys can go. I'm going to put him over here behind that one. Oh, he can move nine, though. Six and three, so... Put him over there behind that. Three more inches, but he'll be out in the open. No, nope. we'll leave him there. Okay. And now my ranger's turn. He's just going to move up to here. All right. That is the end of my ranger phase. So she is not in line of sight of anything. He is not in line of sight of anything. So we're going to move them. The archers will not, I guess, will will not move. Uh, well, we can, we'll roll. Um, let's see. They're just going to stand there because they're on watch. Uh, all right. They haven't seen anybody yet, so we're good to go. All right. Companion phase. Uh, let's see here. We're going to take... Roll on. He can get up here behind this rock and hide. Chrysusa is going to move six to here. Actually, she can get move her nine and get over here out of line of sight. Okay. So that oh Nicodemus almost forgot my buddy here. He's just going to go up and get behind this tree with her. All right. I'm going to assume that I haven't noticed the vulture yet until it starts across the board. Uh, that it's just entered the board as we're moving across, and then we'll notice it. So, um, all right. So it's back to the turn two. There is no event this turn. Ranger phase. He is going to group activate with, oh, this thing moves six inches on creature phase. So it would have moved to there. All right. All right. I'm going to group activate with Crisusa. And I'm going to roll a perception to see if he notices. 1821. I'm going to assume he noticed the vulture. So he's going to group activate with Nicodemus 
Chrysusa and it and then have Nicodemus attack the vulture and Chrysusa is going to fire at this lead Noel Archer and he's or new not Noel Archer um, probably should take the archers out first all right so she's gonna move to here and cover and fire at that archer right there. Uh, sh she will miss. But she didn't hit, so it didn't take damage, so the arm is not better. Oh, she's plus four. That will hit. It was an eight. Plus two is 10, plus four is uh, 13, so that, that null will take their armor is 11, so that knoll will take two points of damage. Okay, so it is hit. Okay. Uh, plus four to him, so it makes him shoot plus six. Um, he will move here and shoot that archer. That will be a 16, so that one will take 5 points of damage. Or, yes, 5, because they're armor 11, which puts her at 5. That one's at 5. Okay. And then Nicodemus will turn around and attack the vulture. Alright, come on, buddy. Take the vulture out. Nothing for either one of them. All right, so they're just doing what flying birds do, fighting. All right, so that is that. Now it is the uh, Knowles phase, the creature phase. They have been alerted because I have damaged two of them. So they are going to move. This one can get into base to base with Rogar, but he cannot attack this turn. Six, seven, eight, nine, because Rogar's closest. I always move towards the closest. So these are going to move as well. So it's going to be seven, eight, nine, move to there. So there. They didn't have one of sight. They can't shoot. This one's going to shoot here with cover. All right. Let's see. These two are going to move six and three. Six and three. All righty. Stay. Uh, let's see. It's going to take a shot at my ranger and Chris Susa. All right, at my ranger. That will miss. Uh, at Chris Susa. Uh, that will also miss. Barely, but it missed. Okay. That is the end of the creature phase. Oh, wait a minute, the vulture. Uh, the creature, cre I think he just got annihilated. Um, let's see. So 20. And the vulture is on. Yep, that's a dead vulture. All right, so we killed the vulture. I need to make note of that. So now we are going to, okay, we're on turn, all right, now it's the creature phase. No, that was companion phase. Okay, now it is turn three, ranger phase. 
Ace of Hearts, which is Soldier. A soldier that has escaped the attack on Torvard and appears on the table, place him anywhere you wish on the small side of the table. Soldier has the same stats as a man at arms companion. Treat the soldier as a companion for the rest of the mission, even if that takes your ranger above his normally allowed number of companions. The soldier may not be the first hero to exit the table. All right. So we'll put him. Uh, all right. We'll put him. I don't know where to put him over there. So it says on the small side. Place him anywhere you wish on the small side of the table. Um, well, I'm going to place him back there through the camp where he won't get shot right to pieces. All right, so he will have the same stats as my man at arms over here because he doesn't have anything extra. All right, let's see. All right, so now Ranger Phase, that is the event. Uh, Ranger Phase, I'm going to group activate with Man-at-Arms and uh, Rogar so that he can try and get an attack in. So we're gonna move, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot at this archer. Actually, I may shoot this sergeant right here. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to shoot this sergeant right here. Uh, 15, 16, 17. He's going to take six points of damage. So, turn down to four. All right, he just took six. Uh, so now I'm going to move the man at arms. So he can get into combat with that one. Snap in. He is going to attack. He gets plus two, and he is fight plus three. Nothing. All right, and Rogar. Rogar will beat that. Actually, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, times two, that's a dead knoll. He just killed one knoll. Yay! So we got a dead knoll. Let me make, make a quick note of that. Fighter. One. Alright. Okay, so now. That is their phase. My ranger phase. Now it's. The creature phase, the old sergeant will snap into there and fight. Let's see. Get movement first here. All right. Uh, he didn't do anything, but neither did Arnos. All right. So now these are going to move. Six and try to get in there, but he can't quite get in there. And he's going to be right where that wound counter is to there because he is the closest. They are the closest. All right. Now the archers now have line of sight to a couple of people. All right, these two archers are going to shoot at Drolon. Uh, that could be the end of Drolon. For the nat 20. His armor is... Only 10. Yep. And she took him out. Knocked out my rogue for one shot. Um... And the other one has no other target, so now that here, 
cover, no, missed. And at my ranger, uh, no, missed. Okay. All right. He missed, missed. Okay, now it's companion phase. So, who do I have left to activate? Him, which is now on, but I got, oh, I got my new buddy over here. And he's going to move up and attack that archer from behind. Uh, well, miss. That's all right. Okay. Uh, Nicodemus <coughs> is going to just simply fly over here, bound behind a rock. Try not to get shot. All right. That is the end of turn three. Uh, so now we're on to turn four, which will be no event. So we're going to go to turn four and ranger phase. All right. The ranger is going to group activate with these two here. Um, he is going to, let's see, this is on the captain there. He is going to shoot this knoll again. And let's see, the 18, 19, 20, 20, minus 11 is 9 points. He's still got 1 point. Ah. Alright. He only has 1 point left now. But it probably moves towards me next turn. Um, he is going to, he's going to move first and move over to here to kind of help him out. Uh, let's see what happens. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 to 16, 19 to so 19 to 18 he wins so that's going to be 8 points of damage to that one alright he's down to 2 no he had already taken damage he's dead I'm sorry I forgot he's dead so it takes out an old sergeant Sergeant. All right. So that was that. Now his turn. Um, I guess he will slide up here to attack that one. And he needs to do one point to kill him. So uh, ten. 11, 12, 13, he does two points and kills him. Looking a little better. Lost. Throw line got taken out with an arrow, but that's okay. We've taken out three knolls so far, so okay. Uh, that's that. Now it's uh, creature phase. Let's say that he is closer. He's going to snap there. He will snap in to help his buddy. Um, the archers. She. They are going to have to move in order to get anything in sight. They can't see her. She's got cover. So they're going to have to move to there to try and see these guys. Okay, and this one will have a shot at her with cover. This one has a shot at her with cover. This one is going to fight him. What's her fight? They are fight plus one. And he is fight plus three. Let's see. Oh, net 20 for the dude. He must be upset that they captured him. So that is going to be 23. Yep, that's a dead archer.
Yeah, because she only had five points left. So that's one dead archer. All right. Okay. So there's that. All right. And Nicodemus is just going to hang out. So that was companion phase, or no, it's ranger phase, I'm sorry, I get so confused sometimes. Uh, ranger phase, he has not shot, or yeah, he did, he missed. Uh, okay. Okay, that was creature phase. That's creature phase, I'm sorry. Um, all right, now we're on to companion phase, which he moved. He's going to move over there. Actually, he's going to move into contact with that clue marker, and we'll see what the clue is. Let's roll in the clue marker table. Uh, let's see. A three scroll. You find a scroll covered up. In some ancient script, after scenario, pick one figure to make an ancient language role successful. The figure recognizes it as orders for the Knoll's deployment, including two other guard posts nearby. Okay. So we found that. So that's what that is. So we'll remove that. Alright. So that was his action. <clears throat> <coughs> All right. Let's see. She has not shot because that group activated with them. All right. So she is going to shoot this one again since it's already wounded. Let's try and take it out. Uh, her shoot is what? Plus two is a 20. It's a tie. Normally, both would take damage, but she's going to take damage, so she's going to die. All right, another noble archer down. All right. Not looking too shabby right now. For us. Okay, that was companion phase. Top of the turn. This is turn five, so... We do get five is what? Booby trap. Pick one random hero. The figure must make a traps roll or get damaged. Let's see. I've got five left, so we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. It is five, six to ten. One, two, three. It's the man at arms. So he needs to make just a target number seven roll. He makes it, so he does not take any damage. If if he did, the alarm would go off, but it already is. So, all right, so nothing happened with that one. That's good. All right. Let's see, ranger phase. Oh, wait a minute, make a stealth roll. I've been forgetting to make my stealth roll to move a... Uh, oh, it only happens until the alarm is raised. I'm sorry. Um, so, ranger phase. We're going to group activate. I'm going to use my uh, special ability, the uh, call to arms. Or call to action, call to arms. I'll have to look that up. It's in the new part. Hang on here. Uh, I used it before. It's in here. Call to action. Okay. I get to uh, I get to activate an extra character, so I'm going to activate all three of these and me. All right, and so he'll have to wait. I am going to step here and shoot at one archer. Uh, I got a 17, 18, 19, 20, or 16, 17, 18. Yeah, so I win. So 20, she takes 9 points. Down to 1. 
Okay. Uh, we're going to activate with Rogar. He's going to go after the Noble. Uh, nothing either direction. And then Arnos the Man at Arms. Take him out. Nat 20. Arnos is knocked out. Alright. It's a tough Noble fighter. Um, <clears throat> that's it on them. It's their phase. He is the closest, so they are going to turn and shoot at him. They get two shots at him. Uh, that will see which is armor is ten, right? No, nope. armor is twelve. They are plus two to shoot. That will be a twelve, thirteen. That'll hit. So he's going to take one point of damage from that attack. So it puts him to 9, because he only has health is 12. Now it takes him to 11. Okay. Alright, and the second one shoots at him. And takes him out. Knocks him out. He's done. So much for having an extra companion. Well, I'll, actually, he could still be there. I just need to roll on the table to see what happens, so, which we will do. All right, so that was creature phase, and ranger phase, now we're companion phase. Um, Nicodemus is just gonna fly over here behind this bush, trying to stay out of trouble. Um, all right. Top of the round. That was turn five, this is six. No event. Uh, we ranger phase. We will group activate with what I got left. Um, start. He's going to shoot that archer. And hit, but do no damage. Alright, now she's going to shoot the same archer. And miss. Uh, Rogar, take him out. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It's his armor, not enough to penetrate. Alright, so now it's creature phase. So the archers are going to turn and shoot back. And he's going to attack here. We'll go ahead and do the attack first. I think Rogar might have just took him out. It's 22 minus 11. Yep, 11 points of damage. More than enough to take him out. Alright. So, Rogar took him out, and we're going to shoot back at the archers. Or, no, he fired, fought me. I'm sorry, the archers are firing at me. Here, uh, we'll miss. Here, we'll miss. Okay. Companion phase. Nicodemus is not doing anything, really. Um, so, alright. Top of the round. An event card. Three of Hearts, which is Noel. Place one Noel fighter at the center point of the table, then roll random direction. Move that Noel eight inches. Okay. Noel fighter at the center of the table, which is about there. And then we'll roll, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. We'll see which direction he goes in, then we'll roll. Okay, so he's either going that way. Uh, he's going this way. Is he going there or there? He's going here. He's going this way, eight inches. So move him eight inches this way, which will put him about right there at that cave. Okay. All right, so there's that. All right. Seven. All right, Ranger Phase. Group activate uh, with those three. And we're going to shoot at... He's, he's going to shoot that archer there. Uh, and miss. She's going to shoot that archer. And kill it. So that's another null archer. Okay. 
track of what I'm killing. All right, so now we are, it's his phase. He is going to just charge six, seven, eight, nine. He's charging at her. Okay. We are going to creature phase. And she's going to shoot Rogar. And hit doing Rogar's got 14, Rogar's 11. He takes 8 points. He is a barbarian. That's what they do. So it puts him down to 6. Companion phase. How far can Nicodemus get? He can get to there. Okay. So now that's the end of that turn. Uh, well, not creature phase. He moves. He can't quite reach her though. White Reacher. Okay, so we've got. All right, so we have got. All right, that's that. There'd be no event this turn. It's turn eight. Uh, we are going to group activate, of course, and we're going to start with my ranger. He's going to move. Right here next to her. And shoot that no. Sixteen. Uh, he ties, so he hits, so it's gonna be five points, which will take him to five, correct? Yeah, take him to five. Now she can hit him and do a decent amount of damage. Her turn. Uh, 12. She is plus 2, 13, 14. She does 3 more points to him. So he's down to 2. Alright. Uh, Barbarian is going to charge into this one. And attack. Come on. Plus four, so that's going to be twelve. One point of damage. Yeah, better than nothing, I guess. Nine. All right. So that's that. Creature phase. He's going to move in here and attack there. So we'll start over here, dude. You suck. Uh, he's down. Knocked out. That's four. Goodness. Knolls are tough, man. Alright, especially when you got so many of them. Alright, so... And here, she has the lower health, I do believe. Yes, so he's going to attack her. Really? He knocked her out with a natural 20. Alright. Companion phase. Alright. Attack with it. Nicodemus, go for it. See if he can take her out. Are you kidding me? I will not be using that red dice again. Alright. End of the round. Last event, two, rain. Heavy rain starts to fall. A line of sight is reduced to 12 inches. Shooting attacks are at minus two. Well, that's good. She's at minus two to hit me, but she can't really hit me because I'm behind that bush. But 
I guess I'm going to attack him. All right. Plus four, it's 22. That will kill him. All right. Now I'm going to make sure that I am tucked up behind there so there is no line of sight. I got to get that archer before she gets me. It's down to just my ranger and one archer. All right. It's creature phase. She's going to move. She can't see me. But she knows I'm there, so I'm just going to move this way, I guess. All right, back to my turn. I am going to move into her because I've got better... Well, actually, if I shoot, yeah, but then she can shoot back. So, yeah, I'm just going to move into her. I'm at plus four to fight. Come on, take it out. 17 to 11. 21, yes. I hope I get my warband back. Well, my companions. Dang. That was a tough scenario. And I will get the treasure marker. That's He'll go over here and get the treasure marker. Uh, so. Alright. Let me clean the table up here. And I'll roll for what we get. Alright. Let's see what happens here. We're going to start with the survival. Alright. Close call. She's good. Close call. He's good. Close call. Nicodemus is good. Natural 20. The man at arms is good. 16. He's good. Let's see if the guy that. 10. He's good. Full recovery. Okay. So I get everybody back. That's good. Alright. Let's see on the treasure table. Let's see what I get on the treasure. A 14, which is a weapon or armor. So we will go to the weapons and armor. And roll on here and see what we get. A 9. A throwing knife light. Alright, let's write that down. equipment and we got the scroll for the clue uh, which will probably play into effect in the next one okay so we didn't get any magic items or anything that time so okay so everybody made it um, that's the end of this uh, scenario the next scenario it may, I may it may be two weeks before I get the next scenario out because I'm gonna do like I said I'm gonna do a terrain crafting video and I still have one two more Probably two more videos for the uh, uh, the loading dock. Uh, what I may do is if I get them ready, is I may go on and release them. But uh, anyway, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, hit that like button if you like the video. Um, subscribe if you want to. Uh, click the little bell icon if you want to get notified when I upload more of these videos. Uh, like I said, thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.